Well, hello, gentlemen. Now here's a femon in the thumbnail. I mean, look how innocent she looks. Surely this sweet wee thing would have the attributes of an angel. Well, actually, not quite. This femon paid for two hitmen for $10,000 to kill her mother and father so she could inherit the $500,000 in insurance and then she could live in the same house with her forbidden boyfriend. What a sweet wee thing. Her mother and father came over from Vietnam and moved to Canada where they wanted to start a new life. They both were very, very hard workers. And they finally got a house and they had a child. And all people from Vietnam, or Asia in fact, want their children to do well in school. And this Femon did do well in school. Until her grades started dropping a bit and she started getting B's. But that's fairly respectable, really. But then her grades plummeted. And she started faking her grades, showing her parents some doctored test results. She kept the facade going for at least two years or more, until eventually all came crashing down, and her parents found out the truth. And it's not so much she wasn't doing so well in school or anything, but she had lied continuously. And that does show disrespect. Now the father wanted her out of the house, but the mother persuaded him to keep her there under strict rules. The femon pretended to make up with her father, but really she was planning his death. She was forbidden to see her boyfriend, that she kept hidden for more than two years as well, but she contacted him and asked him if he knew anybody that could do the hit on her mother and father. And he said he knew some people that would do it for $10,000. <laughs> Life is obviously very cheap. Anyway, she finally texted him to come along that night. She unlocked the door. The hit was disguised as a home invasion gone wrong. They took them down to the basement, where they tied them up, except they didn't tie up the femon. Her father noticed this. They shot her mother point blank in the head, and she died immediately. Her father was shot in the face, but somehow he survived. Anyway, the police arrived and took her to the police station where they questioned her what happened. She completely lied to them. Her father was put in an induced coma for three days and when he came out of it, the police were there. He told them about his daughter not being tied up and how she was actually talking to one of the men as if she knew him. So the police questioned her again until eventually, after some time, she told the truth. The police rounded up all the people involved, and I think they got 25 years, including the Femon. This young Femon lied to her parents for two years, tried lying to the police as well. And really, how could she have her own family killed? Her mother, her father. Her father never went to the court case. He's never gone back to work. He's not able to. He's disabled. And he's never set foot back in the house again either. And yet he still hopes his daughter finds how to be honest and a good person again. This whole thing happened and all instigated by this young Femon. I can't imagine what her father thinks, but he did say once he lost his wife, he's also lost his daughter. He's died already. 25 years is not long enough and she should never ever be let out. This Femon's not only just a liar and deceiver, she's evil. But what do you think, guys? I'll put a link to the news item down below. By the way, they're going to make a documentary on Netflix for this. Hmm. Might be worth a watch. See ya.